So you've been thinking about getting a project car for a while, but can't quite decide what to get. Today we're going to be talking about two of your best options and whether you should get a Nissan 370Z or a Subaru BRZ slash Scion FRS slash Toyota 86. Let's go! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about project cars. Now I know you might be thinking, wait, you've got a Subaru BRZ, so of course you're going to recommend that. This is just a biased review. And yes, while that may be true, I'm going to do my best to be as objective as possible in this comparison. Now let's jump into it. For the sake of this video and to keep things simple, I'm just going to refer to the BRZ FRS 86 as the 86 platform. The 86 was introduced in 2012 as a partnership between Toyota and Subaru in an attempt to make a balanced, lightweight, rear-wheel drive, rev-happy sports car to please the masses. And it was wildly successful. You can find them in every car scene in America. And the possibilities for the platform are basically endless. You want a nice daily? Yep. Track car? Check. Premium stancy boy? You got it. With its FA20 four-cylinder boxer engine, it produces a sound that any Subaru fanboy would absolutely die for. Although it only has about 200 horsepower, its lightweight form factor really helps it keep up on the mountain roads or on a tight track. But before we jump into the direct comparison, let's talk about the competition. The Nissan 370Z has been around a little bit longer. First debuting in 2008 as the predecessor of the 350Z, the 370 has been a staple in the tuning community for over 10 years now. Its VQ six cylinder engine makes about 330 horsepower and produces a sound that can only be described as, well, just listen. With a 0 to 60 time of about 4.6 seconds, it's definitely no slouch, especially when compared to the 86. Now, both choices have a plethora of tuning options, varying from off-the-shelf tunes all the way to full-blown supercharger and turbocharger kits. Both engines can make good power under boost, but you may need to watch out for the relatively weak internals of the 86's four-cylinder boxer. 300 horsepower at the wheels is regarded as a safe power target, however as you approach that 350 to 400 horsepower mark, you really start to risk the integrity of the engine. Although for keeping the engines in both platforms safe at higher power numbers, a flex fuel setup or even an E85 full conversion can help reduce the risk of engine failure as higher ethanol content fuels help to reduce pre-detonation in the engine. The 86 isn't the only platform that has issues with modification though. The 370Z is known for having horrendous oil consumption issues, especially when being pushed on twisty mountain roads or on a hot track day. Just take a look at TJ Hunt's 370 that he built as his practice drift car. That thing absolutely drank oil until he added an oil cooler, a larger oil pan, and other accessories to help keep those oil temps down. Now, both platforms have huge aftermarket support, ranging from cold air intakes to full wide body conversions. There's something out there for everybody. So whether you wanna have a functional track build or if you wanna have a wide body cambered out stance build, both of these platforms have got something to offer. So it all comes down to which one should you pick? Well, Sean, you got a BRZ, so of course you're going to recommend that over the 370. Honestly though, if I was gonna recommend one of these cars for someone to get as a project, it would honestly be the 370Z. With a few oil cooling mods, an intake, an exhaust, and a tune, these things can absolutely rip. However, if you do get a 370Z, there is one undeniable fact. You've got to put a wing on it. If you don't, it looks like a dog bending over trying to take a poop. Listen, I don't make the rules, it is what it is. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Leave me a comment down below if you were going to get one of these two cars, which one would you get and why? If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, smash it if that's something that you're into, and we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>